So this is it. This is the Launch Elite Scan Tool. It's well priced for people that are in a shop or in a garage that needs something that can do all the relearns on these 3.0 Duramax diesels, the relearns, resets, um, everything pertaining to repair of this if for some reason you're out on the road or in your garage. What we're doing is a full system scan. It is scanning every single module within it. You can see there's an ECM code in there. We've seen that before. Video processing module, unsure. Telematics, control module, so we want to go into Diagnose. We're going to scroll down. You can see everything that's available on there. And we want the diagnostics for Chevrolet. All right, so we will manually select. We've got a 23. It's a Silverado AD. We'll just do System Selection. We're going to go into the ECM. However, let's go back so I can show you all of what's in there. So you can see all the modules available to the vehicle. But we're going to stick with the engine for this one just because there's a lot to, uh, to show. So you can see the different engines available. Now what we can do obviously is all the basic stuff. Uh, we can clear the code. Let's read the fault code for starters. It's going to be EGR slow. That one's a new one. I haven't seen that one. Don't know what that's about. We're going to have to research that. It's for another time. So we can... Uh, let's do just data stream just to show this. Let's do the full engine data. Now we're going to select all because I want everything. Now you can select just one or two um, and it just gives you all the data as you can see. You can obviously record it with a memory card on there. You can review it and go back if you need to see anything. So look we can see engine oil pressure 22 at idle. Engine oil temp sensor. So you can see you can read all the all the data that you want to see on here now the big thing that I really really like about this is the ability to actually perform special functions so we could do learn functions now these are all basic if you replace the engine control valve you're gonna to need to relearn it it relearns its position Crank, crankshaft position variation learn that's gonna have different reasons if you ever need to do that you shouldn't really have to do that but uh, turbocharger, initial position learn. So if you replace the turbocharger, you're going to need to perform that. Here's the big one. Injector flow rate programming. So if you replace a fuel injector, you need to program the code that's on the fuel injector. And we need to have the engine off in order to be able to do this. And we're not going to do this because I don't want to mess with this. Um, so if you go into reset... Look at all this right here. So, air cleaner and monitor, that's if you're gonna swap out your air filter, you can reset it. Borrow pressure sensor, obviously, if you replace it. Engine oil life, it's a easy through the dash, so you don't typically need to do that. But now this fuel injection, small quantity data reset right there, that needs to be done whenever you replace a fuel injector. It's highly advised that you do it properly. So at the dealership, if I replace a fuel injector, I'm relearning the code in there and I'm doing this small quantity data reset. So we also have the NOx converter. If you're going to replace the particulate filter or the NOx, uh, anything to do with the DEF system, DPF system, excuse me, you're going to need to do a relearn reductive fluid tank level reset. That's All this is self-explanatory, I know, but you have to do these resets whenever you replace any of these parts. So this is all huge. Um, now there's the NOx sensor reset if you replace one or two or three NOx sensors you're going to need to relearn the uh, NOx sensors. Alright so we have fuel filter life reset, catalytic converter reset. All this is all very important if you're going to do basic stuff like a fuel injector or NOx sensor. These are things that people may do in the future on their own and this is a scan tool that's going to be great for that. 
Now here we're going to be able to command the like the grill shutters. If you're having trouble with the shutters and you're unsure if they're working or not, you can go in here and shutter one is the upper, shutter two is down low for the intercooler uh, radiator. All right, so in testing these, let's get this up to 100%. You can see the shutters are open 100%, right? You can see that it's moving down. We're at 20. So commanded versus desired where it is. Zero, zero. And we can now see the shutters are closed. So that's just functional testing right there. We'll release control so now the engine is operating 100% so they're going to be back there. So that's a cool little thing. Cooling fan, we could test the cooling fan if we're concerned that the fans are not working. Obviously you can go in here and command those on if needed. You can hear them turn on. Well, I can. All right, let's go into fuel system. So we're not gonna play around with this stuff, but obviously prime fuel pump, that's good if you're gonna replace the fuel filter itself. You could prime it rather than cycling the key. Um, nothing else on here I'm going to play with, but you can go in cylinder power balance see if you have a, a dead cylinder that's all neat stuff right there reductant system let's go in there because I know everybody likes to see what we can do with that so reductant injection quantity test that's if you're testing your def injector you can do a system leak test that's where it's going to pressurize the reductant system and um, obviously you're going to check it for leaks at that point now what I want to do is not in this screen, but I want to go see some DPF related stuff right there. Particulate filter regeneration. Now, if you select enable, that's basically going to turn it on. So when you drive the truck, it's going to kick itself into regeneration. So if you're about to go on a long trip or whatever, and you want to start it off with a fresh regen, whatever you're doing diagnostic wise, and I'm not saying you, I'm saying in me, my terms of what I want to do. Uh, here's the regen where you do it right here so I'm out in the wide open what you would want to do is pop the hood and run a regen again this is just for technicians you need to be trained on what you're doing you need to know what you're doing but here's the instructions on what you want to do but you want nothing around you that could catch on fire because there is high temps that come out of the exhaust the engine's going to get hot there's going to be roaring from the engine it's obnoxious but if you have to force a regen because you're stuck wherever you're out on farmland or whatever and you can't do a driving regen this is what's going to be needed um actually i did not want to do that so we have to exit out of here because i don't want to do a regen right now all right i was able to exit out by hitting the home button i really need to pay attention on here but we can go back onto here and obviously we can't go back now i'll just show you so you can start the regen process and you can hear the idle going up and what's going to happen is if you hit the brake it's going to stop it but you can see we initiated it it was starting to go and now we need to get out of this All right, let's finish this up here. So turbocharger, we could do the learn on their intake manifold. That's if you replace the intake manifold. A lot of this, a lot of people aren't gonna be doing, but if you're doing your own work in your garage, as long as you know what you're doing, this scan tool can really help you in getting things installed properly. 